what's happening guys it's Andrew here with flip the bird gaming and today I'm excited to announce that we are going to play beyond good and evil beyond good and evil is a game released in um, I believe around 2002 and my I remember I got my first copy when I when it first came out arrived at the gates of Hillis. This peaceful mining planet in System 4 is now completely encircled by the Dom's Armada. General Keck, Supreme Commander of the Alpha Forces, would like to take this opportunity to address a final message to the population. This part's important. Loyal Hillians, the impending battle will be a difficult one, but thanks to the Alpha Section, I got my first copy when it first came out in 2002 on the PlayStation 2. It took me around seven years to beat it, but that was because I was pretty young, but I think we'll go by through it a lot faster. I know everything about this game. I can tell you the ins and outs of it. Stuff. It's actually pretty good. Go tell Paige. I'll take care of the shield. Now I've never played on the computer, so I'm probably gonna have to get used to the controls. But it'll tell me. Shield disabled. Your oh, no. account is 350 units short. Your electrical supply has just been. Oh removed. man, I love this beginning. Thank you. Thank you for Shield is the only way to protect against the Dom's meteors, and now the monsters are all over the lighthouse. Don't worry, they're not dead. They're just encased in the Dom's monsters. And here's about where actual gameplay comes in. Okay, well, now I know how to move. Oh, this is easy controls. I got it handled. Get yourself to safety. Yes, I've played this game a lot of times. A lot of times. Come and you will get out of here. A couple more. Oh great. Slow-mo. I don't think so, mister. Yeah, he's not gonna get anywhere. Not you. Come here. These are probably the easiest monsters to fight. Stupid Dom's monsters. It's Paige! I'm coming! Uncle Paige. Free yourself, Jake! I'll create a diversion! Yes, now I have my Daijo. Alright, time to beat up this jerk. In the eye, Jake. That's his Achilles heel! Oh no, I don't know how to dodge. The first boss is always the easiest. 
go, we've got our first portal. I don't want to talk too much during the theatricals, like, video-wise. Huh, <laughs> Paige is worried. And I don't want to give him any of my star codes. We're going to be able to pay to get the hovercraft fixed with that. <laughs> hey, Secundo, scan this for me, will ya? Okay, Yeet. And here we have our first part. Per Daramis. Bueno, Yid, but be careful. I did a checkup on you after your fight, and I noticed something got inside your psycho karma. Yep, we have 88 pearls to find throughout the game. Now, in case you're wondering. Jade and Peach have those uh, douchebags. You may go up without fear. Alright, in case you're wondering, Paige and Jade each have those pouches on their side. Well, Secundo is a com basically a computer program that's specialized for Jade's pouch. And you can store items digitally in your pouch, and Secundo scans them and puts them in the pouch for you. So that's really handy. And here's an elevator. We're gonna go up. This alpha Here section units all over the place. Once again, reared its ugly head, striking the civilian population. Luckily, our elite forces have once again arrived in the nick of time. I'm coming to you live from the Southern Lighthouse Shelter. Here is where some of the children whose parents have been captured by the Doms have been taken in by two devoted and courageous Hillians. Miss, a word for our listeners. Uh, yeah, yeah, well you guys are not what I call as fast as a speeding bullet. Keep doing nothing, and next time, there'll be nothing left here to save. Cut! Hey, Pop, stay zen. Don't get your snout bent out of shape. All right, boys, that's a wrap. Pack it up! If it wasn't for you, I... I... There's a lot of theatrics in the beginning. Pessimisto, you faithful servant, Secundo has found the answer to your money problemo. Secundo, we're stuck here. No hovercraft, no shield. Optima has cut off the power. The account is empty. Units, you want units? You come to Secundo, mia bella. Listen to this. The director, Senora from the Science Center, wants a collection of all the animals on the planet. She pay you dinero for any photo you send with little animal on it. Mira, that beast, for example. You take picture of it and tenga mucho units. Even your perro interests them. Not another one of your hair brain plans, Segundo. Gonna have to recheck your circuits. Who could possibly be interested in that kind of thing? We're in the middle of a war, son! You understand nada, bacon bread. Control of the species is mucho importante. Yet, you go get your camera back, and we'll see if Secundo has pepperoni on his processor. Ciao! I found your camera, Jade. I put it right over there. Alright. The controls are a little different for me. So let's take that. That's important. 
Camera ready. It's up to you now, Yeet. It's a nice slow camera. It's actually a very nice digital camera. Oh, now it's upside down. Shift and take a picture. Here's our first species to send into the science center. Hi, Jade. I see Secundo already talked to you about the job. The war is taking its toll. We need a complete inventory of all species living on the planet. Thanks for the picture. Good luck. So. This is the lighthouse. Basically, Jade and Paige have taken in the kids whose parents have been abducted by the Doms, which are the monsters that just attacked us in the war. And this is Wolf. Hi, Wolf. Hey, he's sleeping. He's a big dog. It's those doms that took away our parents, huh, Jay? This is a Starkos. It's basically like some sort of a... taco thing. Nobody knows a whole lot about it. But I'm sure if you go online, people have like made some... Yeah. But they may still be alive. Oh, the phone's gone off. Well, let's go back outside. Oh, this is the kids' bedroom, or one of them. These episodes won't be too long, but I will try to cut them down. The reason why is because you we want a lot of episodes to make this series. Because I want to make this a series. So I know you might enjoy, you know, having 30 minute episodes, but then that just means less to record the next time. Let's <gasps> kick this, and there's one in here. Oh, I'm getting used to the controls. I wonder how I sprint. Careful, Jade. They seem to be keeping their distance for the time being. Oh we yeah. Hurry up and get that shield reactivated. Ah oh, dang. I'm back. I've never gotten to photograph one of these, and but every time I do, it's like when the game's way too far in, and I always forget. Vorax. We're seeing more and more of them these days. Okay, Yid, I transfer the dinero to the stinking Optima service. Optima's the power company, by the way. Ah. Uh, and I just transferred credits, but now... Thank you for choosing Optima service. Shields on, and all you guys die. That drone always annoyed me. Ooh, another thing we need to photograph. Let's see, how did I get out of my camera? Okay. Ah. These guys are very shy, so. A field armadillo. They're becoming very rare. They're very shy, and if you get too close, they'll go away. So like this. And he ducks into a little hole. This is how you power on and off the shield. And we might have to do that later because there's something on top of the lighthouse that I have to photograph. It's a otter. And he just walks around on the top of it. Just casual, you know. He's just like, hey man, I'm just gonna chill up here. And, you know, just, just 
just get chill, so just don't mind me. The thing, the giant stick on the back of Jade's back is a Daijo staff, and it has energy that she can control with it to defeat her opponents in a fight, like you just saw. So if you charge it, she is able to release a whole mass amount of energy, and that's what knocked down the cage around the uh, Dom's eye. Well, let's follow this drone, because he says we have a mission. Jade reporting. Mission M-Disc standing by. This is the hangar, and that's where the lovely hovercraft is, and Paige built it, actually. I'm gonna have to fix that up later. So an M-Disc is just a disc that, um... Everybody uses them in the world. You can transfer data between it. One of the, one of the ways we save is by using an M disk, and you find these M disk readers like this all over the place. That you, Jade? I just got one of them M disks. Might be another job for Jade Reporting and Company. If you can read it now and give me a chance to adjust this stupid decoder player that refuses to obey its master. Gotcha. These are found all over the world just so you can, or all over Hillis, just so you can like save your game if you need to. And this is basically a mailbox. It doesn't actually get like dropped in. It materializes. Sybil, it's been digitalized. So we have our first M-Disc from Mr. DeCastelac. Mm, nothing. Huh. Computer's not working. Alrighty. Well, let's play this thing. Hello, miss. I've been commissioned by Mr. DeCastelac. Ooh, fancy. He has a nice mustache, like... <laughs> Look at my mustache. This war is a catastrophe for us all. Mr. DeCastelac would like to entrust a very delicate mission to you. I'm so glad I don't have to read these out loud for you guys. If you accept, please make your way as soon as possible to the ancient mine on Black Isle, located on the other side of town. Alrighty then. Seems suspicious, but that's how we're gonna play the game. Having completely understood the enormous risks involved, Mr. DeCastelac plans to reward you generously. See you soon. So we have our you know first mission. You know this DeCastelac guy? Huh? Uh, can't go there, Jane. Uh, smells like a trap. Uh, it's too dangerous. Are you loco? We need some dinero to protect us from those thinking dumps. Oh, Secundo. Don't you worry, Paige. Everything will be fine. If you want, I'll go alone. No, no. It's just... Okay, we'll go together. But I'm sticking to you like bees on honey, whether you like it or not. Scundo, check over this computer and download a complete version of your OS. You'll be able to take a look at it, Jade. As for me, I'll try to get that stupid hovercraft up and running. Now here lies this whole place. <laughs> <laughs> that was always my favorite part. Okay, it's working. We are once again connected with El Mundo Exterior. So, in today's episode, we have fought off one Dom's boss. He was our first boss. And we the, the series will continue. Stay tuned for the next episode where we go to Black Isle, the ancient mine, and meet this mysterious Mr. DeCastelac. But that was it. That wraps it up for today, guys. I'm Andrew, again with Flip the Bird Gaming. And see you next episode.